Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. This lab is just recently updated so here is a new solution for the lab. So first of all, just me log in with your credentials and once done with that, in the description box of this video, I will share on GitHub link. Just me click on that link and then I will access this file over here. Now just me scroll down, open this URL in incognito window, it will activate your cloud shell. Meanwhile, just me come back over here and from where you can see this curl command. This will download this GitHub repo from my GitHub to your cloud shell. Then we have to make this file executable. For that, we have to just me run this chmod command. And for executing all the command, we have to just me run this last command over here. So just me copy all this command, come back, paste, hit enter. Now we have to just wait for this command get executed and once it's done, we are done with the 50% of the lab. Now next 50% is updated. So that's why we have to just wait. So just really now wait for this command to get executed and after that we will move forward with the next part of the lab. So I can ask you something to ask you? In truth? If I will ask and if you don't believe it, you will believe it, but if you don't do it, पक्का करेंगे And it's finally done. Now what you do, just me come back over here and search for the VPC over here like this way. Open this thing new tab, come back over here. Now here you can see VPC flow logs. Just me click over here. Then just me click on this enable network management API. It will take a couple of seconds. So just me wait. So it's done. Now just me click on this add VPC network. Do not worry about this error. Okay. Just me click over here and then just me click on this add a configuration for subnet like this way. Scroll down a little bit, click over here and then just me click on this default button over here and then click on this OK. So it's done. Now here you can see this filter section. For that, just me come back to the lab instructions, click on the task number three, scroll down a little bit over here and from here you can see this region. So just me copy this region carefully and paste over here like this way, hit enter. Then just me click on this checkbox and then just me click on this manage flow logs. If you do not follow this step, if you uncheck this checkbox and try to click on this, then you will not able to click on this add new configuration. So first click on the checkbox, then click on this manage and then just me click on this new configurations. Okay. Now here you can see configuration subnet compute engine API. Click on this add configurations, scroll down, click on this done. That's it. Now just me click on this save. So it's done. Now what you do, just me search for the log explorer, open this thing new tab, come back over here, wait for a second now. Now here you can see all log name, just me click over here and here just me search for the VPC over here. We have to just me look for this particular name, VPC flow. So just click search, if you are not able to find it, just me click on this refresh button and again just me check. It might take at least 5 minutes to load the name over here, so we have to just me wait. So just me search over here again and again I am not able to find it, so just me keep waiting and after some time you are able to get the name. So just me wait and watch. And as you can see, finally we are able to get this name. So click on this name and then just me click on this apply. Here you will get the query. Now just me click on this actions over here and then just me click on this create things like this way. Now for the name, just me come back over here, scroll down a little bit and from you can see this particular name. So just me copy this and so paste over here like this way. Then click on this next, 
from here just me choose a big query data set and from here just me choose a create a new big query data set now for the data set id just me come back over here scroll down a little bit and from here you can see this id so just me copy this and paste over here like this way then click on this create data set and then just me scroll down click on this next then click on this next and then just me click on this create thing it will take a couple of seconds so just me wait So it's done. Now here, just me search for the BigQuery, open this thing new tab, come back over here, click on this done, click on this arrow, then just me click on this arrow. You can see US flow logs, just me click on this and here you can notice that we are not able to get any kind of data set over here. We have to just me look for this particular name data set. Okay. So basically what we do, we have to just me wait for a couple of minutes. And after that, we have to just me click on this refresh button. And again, we have to just me check over here. So keep doing that. And eventually you are able to get this data set. So just me wait and watch. And finally, you can see we are able to get this name. So just click over here, then just me click on this query over here, like this way. And now here you can notice the missing query over here. So for that, just me come back over here, scroll down and from here you can see this query. So just me copy this and paste and just me wait. And once you get a green tick, just me click on this run button over here. So just me wait and it's done. So now you are done with the 75% of the lab. So if you just may come back over here and click on the check my progress for first three tasks, you will get a score without any issue. And I will recommend you once you get a complete score on this particular task, then only move forward with the last task. Otherwise, you will not get a complete score. So keep hitting on the check my progress. And once you get a complete score over here, then only move forward with the last task. So basically what you do, just me scroll down over here. And from here you can see this SAT command. So just me copy this come back to your dashboard and just me run over here like this way then copy this delete command and paste over here and then copy this last command over here and run over here like this way now if you just me come back over here and click on the check my progress for the last task you will get a score without any issue and if the score is not updated immediately don't worry just me wait keep it on the check my progress and eventually you will get a full score so just me wait and watch And as you can see, it's done. And in this way, we have to complete this lab. If you still have any doubts, please do let me in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a good day, guys. So please support kara sara whatever. I want to reach one million likes.